TIG Aluminum School Here's a comprehensive guide for setting up your TIG welding machine for aluminum welding, including parameter explanations, recommendations for material sizes in millimeters, tungsten size, and aluminum thickness. Hello, Dr. Cool Auto Fix here. I ran into problems trying to weld aluminum with new Eden TIG welding machine for the first time. And it was a mess, no formal knowledge. So I began a search on the internet to find the right settings for aluminum. And that seems to be near to impossible to find a video that explains it. Everyone American I watched seems to be busy chasing for attention and engagement over information that is near to irrelevant to beginner's guide to TIG welding. Machine Settings so I decided to make one to help beginners out there who are going through the same problem like me. 1. Tungsten Selection and Size Tungsten type, 2% lanthanated, blue, 2% seriated, gray, or pure tungsten, green, for AC welding. Tungsten Size Thin material millimeters, 1.6 millimeters 1 16 inch. Medium thickness 3 minus 6 millimeters, 2.4 millimeters 3 32 inch. Thick material 6 mm, 3.2 mm 1 8 inch. Preparation, sharpen to a slight taper, but keep the tip slightly rounded for AC stability. 2. Key Machine Settings for TIG Welding Aluminum A Starting Amperage and Finish Amperage Starting Amperage, 10 to 30 amps. Provides a smooth arc start, especially on thin aluminum. Finish Amperage, 10 to 20 amps. Prevents craters and cracks at the end of the weld. B peak amperage. Material thickness, um. 1 minus 2 millimeters, 50 to 80 amps. 3 minus 4 millimeters, 100 to 130 amps. 5 minus 6 millimeters, 150 to 180 amps. 6 millimeters, 200 plus amps. Preheat may be needed for very thick sections. C peak on time, pulse ratio. Setting, 40 to 60 percent. This is the percentage of time the machine stays at peak amperage during each pulse cycle. Adjust based on penetration needs. Higher settings allow deeper penetration. D base amperage. Setting, 30 to 50 percent of peak amperage. This prevents overheating while maintaining a molten puddle. E pulse frequency. Thin materials millimeters, 1 minus 2 hertz slow pulsing for precise control. Thick materials 3 mm, 50 minus 200 Hz higher frequency for smoother arc and heat control. FAC frequency. Setting 80 minus 150 Hz. Lower frequencies 80 minus 100 Hz create a wider arc for thick materials. Higher frequencies 120 minus 150 Hz concentrate the arc for thin, detailed work. GAC balance. Setting 70 to 80 percent electrode negative N. More N equals better penetration. More EP equals more cleaning action for oxidation removal. Ideal balance depends on the cleanliness of the aluminum. What it means, the ratio of electrode negative N to electrode positive EP during AC welding. Recommended setting, 70 to 80% and slash 20 to 30% EP. Purpose. More N, better penetration, less cleaning action. More EP, more cleaning action to remove aluminum oxide. Adjust based on how clean the aluminum is. H up slope and down slope. Up slope, 1 to 3 seconds. Gradually increases amperage to prevent arc instability and oxidation. Down slope, 1 to 5 seconds. Gradually decreases amperage to avoid crater cracking and ensure smooth finishing. I post flow. Setting, 5 to 10 seconds ensures the weld and tungsten are protected from oxidation while cooling. J2T versus 4T modes. 2T, 2 touch. The torch trigger is held to weld and release to stop. Ideal for short welds or simple tasks. 4T, 4 touch. Click to start the arc and click again to stop. Useful for long welds, allowing more control over slope and amperage. TIG welding parameters by material thickness, general chart. What these settings mean. Upslope downslope controls the ramping up and down of amperage at the start and end of the weld to avoid sudden heat changes. Peak amperage, maximum current used for penetration and heat input. Peak on time, time spent at peak amperage during a pulse cycle, affects heat and penetration. Base amperage, minimum current during the pulsing cycle, prevents overheating. 
pulse frequency controls the speed of the pulse cycles, higher equals more stable arc. AC frequency determines arc focus and cleaning action, higher equals narrower focused arc. AC balance adjusts cleaning action versus penetration. General recommendations for aluminum TIG welding. Tungsten type, 2% lanthanated or zirconated tungsten, sharpened or slightly bald tip. Shielding gas, 100% argon, pure for most applications. AC frequency, 100 minus 150 Hz for good arc stability and control. Filler rod, use aluminum specific filler rods like 4043 or 5356, depending on the alloy. By adjusting these settings to match the material thickness and desired weld characteristics, you'll achieve high quality welds with minimal defects. By tailoring these settings to your material and application, you'll achieve clean, strong aluminum welds. Start with these guidelines and fine-tune based on your specific conditions and equipment.